Today's video is gonna be how you can get a data analytics degree from WGU in as little as six months. WGU stands for Western Governors University, and it is a university where you can accelerate your degree, and that's because it is a competency-based model. So in traditional universities, your degree is gonna take four years, or in reality, usually it's about 5.1 years on average. With a competency-based model, you are able to test out of classes based on your competency, whereas at a traditional university, you have to put the time in no matter what. Now, up until I made this series, of videos, I actually only revealed what I'm going to reveal in this video to private consulting clients. That's how valuable the stuff I'm going to go over in this video is. I'm basically going to walk you through step by step how you can get a highly valuable degree in as little as six months. Now, this is a completely legit degree. And if you have any apprehension about that, I don't blame you. It sounds too good to be true, but I did an entire video on WGU, which I definitely think you should check out right there uh, if you don't believe this or you think it's a scam or anything like that. Also, at the time of recording this video, I have not gotten a cent from WGU. I wish they would sponsor me. I'm a big fan of them, but I don't think they do that. Uh, and if they do it in the future, that's awesome. But at this time, I have not gotten a cent from them. So I'm recommending them purely because I think they are the best competency-based university. Uh, there are a couple other really good ones as well, which I go over in that video. So definitely check it out. Now, I also created a secret cheat sheet that makes it incredibly easy for you to do the process that I'm about to reveal to you. So you can pull that cheat sheet up and look at it as you're going through this video. So with that being said, if you appreciate me dropping all this insane amount of value, which I used to charge a lot of money in order to reveal to people, and I'm doing it all for free here on YouTube, go ahead, gently tap that like button, and let's jump right into it. All right, so we're actually going to skip the first two steps that I would usually go over, which is first, choosing which college degree you want to get, and then second, choosing which accelerated or competency-based university you want to go to. Because there are some other good ones out there like TESU, Excelsior, Southern New Hampshire University, etc. So definitely check that video out if you want to see some of the other ones. So the first step, assuming that you are going to WGU and you're getting this degree, is you want to go ahead and get a hold of your transcript and transfer in all of your existing units. Now take your time on this step because you'd probably be surprised what things you can transfer in. So for instance, you can transfer in military experience, career experience, certificates and certifications, and of course you can transfer in AP and IB classes, as well as any classes that you might have taken for college already. And there are even certain Udemy classes that you can transfer in. So definitely make sure you take your time on this part. So yeah, once you've transferred all of these previous units in, you are going to get a list of classes that you still have to take from WGU from your counselor. And at this point, you would move on to step two, which is you would take those remaining classes and you would start taking those classes, not at WGU because you're not enrolled yet, but actually at third party companies. Now I actually have a list of all the classes that you have to take. It's basically a WGU cheat sheet. I will put that down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. And the three main companies that offer the easiest, best experience, which pretty much everyone recommends are study.com, straighterline.com, and so Sophia.com. Now, in my experience, as well as Josh Matikor's experience, study.com is the best one overall. So that's the one we're going to focus on. And Josh is basically like the king of WGU. Uh, he helped me and my team put this uh, cheat sheet together for basically every single curriculum at WGU. And he himself graduated with a computer science degree in two months enrolled at WGU, which I'm pretty sure that's a record. That is absolutely nuts because computer science is probably the most difficult degree you can take at WGU. So for a BS, in data management and data analytics, which is this degree, there are about 39 courses overall. Now you can very comfortably test out of one class per week using study.com, sophia.org, or straighterline.com. This is even if you're extremely busy, you work full time, you have a family, etc. Many of the students that I've recommended this to have told me that they can test out of a class a day, sometimes even multiple classes per day. Now you might be wondering if it's competency based, why don't you just enroll in WGU and take the classes? Well, that will be much more expensive and it will take longer. It's much better for you to knock these classes out using a third party company because it's cheaper and it's faster. So for instance, this person who posted on the WGU GU subreddit said that they started last month and they just hit 50%, which means they knocked out about 50% of the classes. Now they didn't give any other information like how many classes they transferred in, etc. But I would assume they probably transferred in some classes, but this just goes to show how fast you can knock out a lot of these classes, right? 39 of them, and he already knocked out like, you know, 19 to 20. So after you have knocked out all of those classes that you can using study.com, straighterline.com, sophia.org, 
or you take the certifications as well, which I put on the far right. Then you want to move on to the next step after you've transferred that into WGU, of course, which is you want to pre-study the remaining classes. And again, you are not enrolling in WGU yet. The reason I emphasize this so much is because the counselors will probably be pushing for you to enroll. It's in WGU's best interest that you enroll as soon as possible because they make more money. But there are many different ways to pre-study the classes. I highly, highly recommend you check out the WGU subreddit. And there's a main subreddit, and then there's a subreddit for basically every single WGU degree. So look into that, check that out. They will be sharing all kinds of pro tips, uh, strategies for studying, strategies for passing the tests, etc. So it is a phenomenal resource because sometimes these classes change. And so the way that you study them and the way that you pass the tests are going to change as well. But there's also a ton of different resources online that are either free or very cheap. YouTube is free. Khan Academy is free. There's lots of great uh, cheap classes on Udacity and Udemy. And if you're a textbook type person, you can order a textbook that's like two or three years old for probably like 20 bucks on Amazon. Now, once you have pre-studied all of the remaining classes and you feel very confident about it, you want to go ahead and enroll in WGU at this point. So you'd talk to your counselor, tell them you're ready to enroll. And then once you start, you want to knock these classes out as fast as possible. And you should be able to get through them relatively fast because you already know the material. And the reason you want to do this is because realistically, you want to be able to graduate from WGU in one to two terms max. And the reason for that is because you pay WGU by the term, right? So if you knock out all 39 classes in like one or two terms, you only have to pay for one to two terms. So it makes sense for you to knock out as many of those classes as possible while you're enrolled at WGU. Now, typically getting a bachelor's degree takes 5.1 years on average. Data analytics, data management is one of the more difficult bachelor's degrees. So I think it would take at least four to five years for sure. But at WGU, you, there are a ton of testimonials of people who have gotten done with it in 18 months, like this person. There's people on YouTube that talk about how they finished it relatively quickly. Lots of testimonials. You can look them up online. And if you take it really seriously, the time that you are enrolled in WGU likely will only be one term, which is around six months. Now, for the average person who's super busy, has a family, works full time, something along those lines, you can still probably knock it out in around two years. And that's the entire process, not just the time that you're enrolled at WGU. So now let's go ahead and jump into that cheat sheet. And I'm going to walk you through step by step an example of exactly how you could graduate with this degree in six months enrolled at WGU and maybe like a year or so of total study. So as you can see, this is the main page. Um, these are all the classes you have to take on the left. If you click on that and then you know go ahead and click there, it'll take you to the class on WGU's website. These are all the transfers that you can transfer in using study.com. We do focus on study.com because we found it's the most straightforward one and people tend to just have the best experience and get done the fastest with them. And if you click on that, go ahead and click there, it will take you to the study.com class that matches. Now, there are some cases where study.com doesn't have it, but either Straighter Line and Sophia do. And one of those is the CS1005, for instance. We will try to keep this updated in the future, by the way, if any of this changes. But you also see here that there are some certifications that you can knock out as well. So for instance, if you take the CompTIA Plus project certification, uh, that will be good for the business of IT management. So let's go ahead and go over an example of something that might realistically happen in real life for an average person who was trying to go to WGU. So we'll go to this first slide here. Um, let's just say that you transferred in a few classes because that is, of course, step one. So for instance, let's say you took AP Economics and AP Calculus during high school and you were able to transfer in Economics 101 and Math 101 because of that. And then you also took some classes in community college like Communications and Art. So you were able to transfer those in. And then because of the fact you knew you were going to have to take these uh, certs anyways, uh, you went ahead and did all these certs as well and you transferred them in. Now Next, we're going to move on to the test out phase. And this is where you would test out of all these classes using study.com. And in this case, you would also be using Sophia.org for this class, Web Development Foundations. So you identify all these classes, you test out of them using study.com and Sophia.org. And let's say this process takes you about three to six months or so. So after transferring all those in, it would look something like this. You'd have one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 classes left. So the next thing you'd want to do is of course, pre-study all of these classes. You would use strategies that are offered on the WGU subreddit to pre-study them very efficiently. And maybe this process takes about three months or so. So at the end of this process, you are six to nine months in. Now at this point, you would go ahead and enroll in WGU. You would knock these classes out as fast as you can and that would probably take you another three to six months or so. So this whole process would take you somewhere between nine months to a year and a half total. And there you go, you would have yourself a data management and data analytics degree from WGU, and you would probably celebrate and be super happy. Now, by the way, in this process, if you want to save 30% off your first three months with study.com, you can use the code Shane Hummus during checkout. Now this will not only save you money, but will also help out the channel as well. So if you appreciate me doing all this hard work, uh, then use that code and you'll help the channel out a little bit. Definitely check this video out right here where I go over if WGU is worth it. Gently tap that like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell and comment down below any thoughts, comments, criticisms, et cetera. And I will see you next time.